There we go, Lanius B. All right, so this is the H20 from Eagle's Eye, and it is a ship with no O2, not surprisingly. Unsurprisingly. <clears throat> Who's that guy obstructing our view of chair? It's me. I know that was an extra folder that was messing it up last time. Okay. Clock watching is the worst in your opinion? Yeah. Well, let's see what the description is for this ship. Um, H20, pure torture type B. Your non-anaerobic crew are going to hate this. <laughs> so we have Heel Bay. Double NG Medbot Dispersal. Does this work? This doesn't stack in vanilla. So... Did you modify NG bot Medbot Dispersal to stack? You made it stack. Interesting. Alright, so we got level 4 shields. Power chain laser. Two power, two shots. Its damage goes up instead of its charge time going down, it looks like. Interesting. Heavy chain laser. This one gets faster with every chain. Two power, two shots. Start with two damage. Okay, yes. Same amount of damage. It goes down. Okay, interesting. Where's Julianverse for this ship? I know. Julianverse would love this ship. I think people in the hangar won't take damage in... In, uh, what, in, in hyperspace? Oh, do we have Gibbs? Fall the rebellion! <laughs> I like how your Gibbs are so... shooty and spinny. They go really fast. Alright, um... As you jump to the Federation control checkpoint, a Federation guard notices what ship is passing through. Out of pity, or maybe a grotesque satisfaction, it offers you a small pile of scrap. Small pile of scrap. Accept the pity. And a weapon? Okay. Why... Why did he just give us a free weapon? I mean, I'll take it. Alright, so my crew are not going down in health. If I turn off heal bay, they do, and then turn it back on, do they go up or do they stay even? So, basically... Basically, one missile to our heel bay, and all of our non lanius crew are dead. That's that's what I'm seeing right now. One missile to our heel bay. But I don't think you gave any titanium system casing to protect that. So, I don't want to lose all my crew. I got to do some kind of value point in med bay and hope it's not a two damage missile or something. We do have cloaking, though. Where's the crew teleporter? Did you miss an update? What? This sh was this supposed to have? Oh god. Okay, yeah. You always request right as I jump into some jump where I literally can't change it. So, uh, you'll, you'll have to wait for like three jumps now. Turbo jet. Okay, but these weapons do not time out well at first. He did before it was chat delay. Okay, well, there's what I was just talking about right there. Well, I didn't see it, so sorry. Hashtag blame chat delay. This is so slow healing. This is gonna be a gonna be a slog of a run, that's for sure. Um Someone used the default scrap rewards, which means there's always a chance to get a weapon. I I don't understand, Zach. I don't know what that is. I had a feeling that it happened, you just knew that solar flare would hit right there in the heal bay. You have a challenge no to run well i'm sure that's as intended for this ship i will consider it <clears throat> i should probably train here honestly well i just reached so now i can't
If I don't get O2, what do I want my other system to be? We get hacking. Do we get teleporter? Do I get drone? Uh, probably drone control is what I'd get. You recommend upgrading heal bay for faster healing in the mid bay. Also, resulting in there to protect against Dion is useful. Okay. Alright, now I can do the request. What was it? It was a Lanius for turbo jet. And. I hate it, but I think I better do this as my first upgrade. We do have level 2 shields, right? Which makes this a little less expensive feeling. But protecting my non lanius crew from dying seems very important on this ship. Act Med Bay would also screw us, I think. That's why we need to get hacking as quickly as possible to defend against that. We need to do many things as quickly as possible to defend our crew from no O2 death. Like cloaking small bombs. Are the augments double respirators or double medbots? <clears throat> it's double medbots. Which I feel like I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call this out because I call out multiverse about this a lot. If this ship can't get O2, you're basically forcing the player to not have any choices in augments. Now, you might be okay with that because you're like, yeah, that's what the ship's designed around. But I kind of hate that design because you're taking away player choice. But if I can buy O2, then I can choose to buy O2 and sell some stuff. But I don't, I don't know if we actually have the choice or not since I haven't seen O2 in a store yet. I kind of hate logged in, locked in augments. And you can argue that they aren't locked in here. But... If your ship would literally die all except for one crew because you don't keep the augments, then it's basically locked in augments. Well, that was three out of four shots dodged. Okay. Should have mind control the pilot. Yeah, worrying radiation vents bad, but the good thing is that level 2 heal bay protects you from worrying radiation. I do know that. I feel like I better save scrap for the store. So either buy O2, which is probably what I'll just do, even though as intended is probably to keep making our dudes suffer over here. But if I just have the option, I'm probably going to buy it. Pick up that's a story. Let's go. You cannot buy O2. Well, then it there it is. We have forced augment slots. Then, unless I can buy clone bay to replace it, if I can re if I can buy med bay instead of clone bay, then I can get rid of engine med butt dispersal, and it might be playable and be a little less forced augments. I would say. only get six. One, two, three, four. Mm. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do backtracking here. One, two, three, four, five. There's something like that. You cannot buy O2. You made the weapon stupid strong to make up for the force three augments. Okay. Still, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat what I said before. They're basically, you're basically doing the thing I harp on multiverse about. Fucking damn it, game. What the actual so, fuck? It's fine, it's fine. I just don't love this design. Force Dogments is not my favorite design choice. 
but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Can I crew kill this? I got a fire, maybe? Force him in the heal bay? Damn, it's really close. Um, maybe if the fire spreads right as I mind control him, he'll not. He will die in a fire, maybe. Old Rand yells at Mod. There we go. Non stop. It's what I do. What are the airlocks for again? Oh, yeah. Tossing humans out of. That's right. That's what they're for. Yeah, shit burns down. Wow. Pump their ship with nano med boss to aid in the rescue. There's a blue option we never get. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a silly device. With that shield trained rock we just got. So let me understand. If I sell. Let's see. NG Nano Med Bots heal the crew outside the med bay at a reduced speed. Requires powered med bay to function. If I sell one of these, my health starts to go down. Is that correct? Like, how did you. Can you, can you tell us? When we have goofiness like this, I prefer if you can. Tell us how you change the medbots. Because normally, NG medbot heals at half healing, right? Like half of the healing. Let me do some testing here. And upgrading your heal bay does not increase it. Okay. I've seen some mods where a higher level heal bay works with NG Medbot dispersal. Yours does not do that. Uh, 50% resist from respirators, 25% heal from Medbot 1, and 25% med from Medbot 2. That's how it's working. You would have made that a thing if you if it did that. I, I it's been I've seen it modded before where higher level heal bay. I don't know how to do it because I'm not a modder, but RPG Nerdos, maybe you can back me up. I'm pretty sure I've seen that before. Can't do it in vanilla. Oh, you're not using hyperspace, huh? Okay. Well, then how are you able to mod to use two NG medbots? I don't know. Okay. Weapons are good. You definitely gave this ship some OP weapons for the Force Dogments. So I'll give you that. I'm just really worried about a heal bay hack or a missile to heal bay sh shenanigans type of situation. That's why I'm trying to get hacking as quickly as possible. Also, we always try to get hacking as quickly as possible. You can modify NG Medbots in hyperspace. Nanobot transfer augment is essentially your reworked nanobots that scales with med bay level. Okay. Okay, half power is pretty bad for us. Okay, he's only using the mini beam. Okay, that's fine. Let this fire. Depower our shields. No weapons allowed. Heal our dudes in the meantime. These weapons are crazy strong. Crazy strong. You just finished your last unfair run into the breach yesterday. Now you have all the medals. Wow. Well done, Mr. Keys. That is, that is impressive to me. 
I, I did barely any unfair runs. I that is impressive. You should. Sh did you stream it? You should show your power on Twitch, in Into the Breach. I am impressed by that. All right, let's go to the store looking for hacking. You think that in vanilla you can change the value of nanobots to keep crew healed? The drawback is that you buff nanobots and enemy ships as well that way. Okay. So I can buy clone bay. Which means if I did the clone bay thing... I basically am losing any training. All training at any time. Mm. How many ships even have nano... Nanobots, every NG ship. Every, in vanilla, every ship that is of a certain race type has that race's augment. All rock ships have rock hull plating. All NGs have NG medbots. All slug ships have slug repair gel. I believe that that is true. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. I guess I'm going to play this ship as intended and buy... Hacking in one other system. Do you have a defense drone? Damn, you don't. But I could buy drone control with a defense drone, which I think is the play here. At least that helps us against missiles into our heal bay and potentially stops... Oh, uh, potentially stops... Um, hacking drones to heal bay. Please, modders, when you create your ship... When you add a system, this is this is wrong. This is a mistake by modders. Thank God it's not the shield one that makes it cost 100 or the weapons one that makes it cost 40. But please remember to make a base two on drone control, please, please modders, please. That was that was just a mistake. NGC doesn't have medmod dispersal. They have defense scrambler. I'm talking about enemy ships, average chicken song. Every enemy ship in the game that is of a certain race type, all Zoltan ships have Zoltan shields, all NGs have Zen med about dispersal, yada yada yada, that kind of thing. I'm talking about enemy ships. Maybe I didn't make that clear. You have made that mistake before with brought with bot systems. Luckily you play test. Yeah. Please remember to test your ships. There's the other thing. Just just test your ships. Just <laughs> Just test your ships. Uh, oh, crap, I can't use that. Why? Because forced augments. <sighs> Could you have made it? I don't know if you can do this in vanilla. Can you make these hidden augments? So I feel like if you could make them hidden augments, then at least... Maybe that's a hyperspace thing, too, though. Cause I, just, I hate I hate leaving scrap behind, but I have to because my crew will die if I don't. A lot of rebel in, uh, rebel free stuff here. We are super defensive, so that's good. Um, I really should train when I get an opportunity. In vanilla, you can't have hidden augments. Again, though, changing the value on medbots to remove the need for having two of them or making your crew crystal and lanius. There you go. So there's a couple ways you could have done this with only two forced augments instead of one forced augment, it sounds like Eagle's Eye. So something to keep in mind for future ship designs. Or updates if you decide to update this ship. My one store is up there. Okay, I'm gonna beeline for it. Can confirm, Mr. Keith, you did change the value on one that one ship. Okay. I'm not patient enough for wait for his bombs to wear, or wear out for us to do the training on this ship. I should have just done on that one ship that was. Perfect ship for crew uh, training.
All right, so the goal is hacking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, why did I think I could make this? I think I could go. Oh, I took the wrong jump. I should have gone here. If I had gone. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I still don't think I could have made that, actually. I'm still one away from making that. Okay, well, I guess I don't get this store. Um, that is a pulsar. Hmm. Six, five, four. Three, two. Uh. Uh, unless I want to dive for the store. I have cloaking, so I could dive. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. And that'll be Pulsar into that. Am I going to do that? Pulsar with these weapons? Sure. We can defense drone. The Beta Hunter, in one of my breaks, mind if we stress test a bot for the tournament? Uh, I've already had two breaks, Beta Tester, uh, and I don't know what you mean by stress testing a bot. What is What does that mean? I don't plan on doing any more breaks today. How do you stress test a bot? You mean my deep bot? No deal. It means spamming votes to see if it breaks. Votes. What are what are we what are we voting for? Do you just mean Do you mean the prediction? Um Sounds like Pie Boy can tell you how that works. Um, that there's a cooldown for that. I'm surely, surely you can look up Twitch command cooldown. I'm sure you don't need to test it, right? Surely that information is just on Google somewhere. Now right, we need to save enough for hacking. Too many requests might cause problems for the database. It can wait for another day. It's more for the database. You can try other things. Alright, um... Sure. Yeah, I mean... I, I would rather that be something you do when I'm not streaming. I don't want my chat to be spammed with predictions and stuff. If you're a moderator, I'm pretty sure you can do that over and over when I'm not streaming. Or am I wrong? Can you not do predictions when I'm not streaming? Uh, I could lose a jump here and that would be a dive. Let's not do that. I could dive for the store, but I just don't want to dive. Don't worry, no need. You can figure something out the easiest way. You'll find something else. Okay. Alright. You may remake this ship in hyperspace, but an internalized multi-augment to free up augment space. I would... I would be interested in that. Alright, this should be a safe training ship. Let me run him out of missiles, and then I'm gonna train, because I'm... I'm a little worried that if I don't train I could get kind of wrecked somewhere here so let me let me let's let's actually let's actually train here he should run out of missiles pretty quickly I won't be able to train weapons here will I both these are two shots okay. I'm wondering 
Don't, doesn't anybody who has a Twitch account have a creator dashboard where they could turn on their own stream and test this stuff? Is that the stuff that you're talking about? Testing? Or do you have to be an affiliate to do predictions or something? Like, I'm pretty sure everybody has a Twitch account can stream. I just don't know if there's a requirement to be able to have access to predictions and stuff. All right, was that last missile? That's the last missile. Okay, let's turn on uh, this and get our dodge training here. Because right, I feel like there's a better way to do whatever you're trying to do, Beta Hunter, than spamming a bot while somebody's streaming. My FTL just crashed. Damn it, it's been a while since that's happened. Why did FTL just crash? All right, I guess I can't train. Something borked there. All right, no training. No training allowed. And if it crashes again, I think I lose the run and I don't want that to happen. So we just restart this fight and no, no training for us. Oh well. It's been a while since uh, my FTL's crashed and I don't know if that was caused by... Death by a thousand fucking missiles, man. Um... Hyperspace and mods, or if it was caused by me trying to speed hack it, so oh well. Hope that doesn't happen tomorrow. It's been a while since that. Uh, but since I've had whatever bug it is where speed hack causes my FTL to crash. Alright, pulsar time. You don't think cheat engine should have any issue? I've had cheat engine in the past crash. So I'm going to blame it on Cheat Engine and hope it's not my hyperspace mods that I have on or my other modding going on. Nice. I prefer it to be the... Well, would I prefer it to be the speed hack? I don't even know. Uh-oh, Pulsar. Pulsar can kill our crew. I did not think about this. Okay. Okay, good. Pulsar didn't hit our heal bay. I didn't even consider that part of this. Only wait as late as possible. You use Cheat Engine on your end, but you also don't use all the mods I do. Well, I've had Cheat Engine crash my FTL when I'm playing... Very, like, not the hyperspace stuff. I've had it that when it's basically on vanilla, but has, like, you know, Extended Pursuit Indicator and one or two other things. So, I think it's... I honestly think, since I've built this computer, that I have some sort of... Hard drive, RAM, motherboard, slight compatibility issue thing. Because I've experienced other lag and weird random things with this computer since I've had it, since I built it. Do you recommend leaving a, leaving a Zoltan in Medbay? Well, Eagle's Eye, I was just about to say, somebody might tell me to do that. What do you think would happen if I left a Zoltan in Medbay and then they hacked my Medbay? Then your med, then your Zoltan dies in the med bay instantly. I don't even think that's a good counter to that. If you just have a Zoltan living there, hack under your heal bay kills your Zoltan, and then you have a dead Zoltan. So we would need the Zoltan to live outside the med bay and then move into the med bay anytime we go into a pulsar. Yes, it's apparently impossible to buy O2 on this ship. That's a good deal, we'll take that. It's giving away all the fuel. Map, huh? Well, I can see my two stores, all right. Do, 
No weapons. Now I could do a little bit of slow training here, just train off asteroids trying to dodge them, but I'm just gonna not worry about training, I think. Could do a slow crew kill here with O2 and Bombe and mind control. Maybe. Nah, screw it. Screw it. So weapons are actually too strong for crew killing. So why even try? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can check both stores. Might not even need to check this store if we get the hacking from here though. Our goal is just hacking. Just hacking and we're in good shape. This guy can't damage us. So I could do slow trading, I could try to do fast trading again, see if it crashes. I don't really trust it. So I will just not shoot weapons for this ship. Maybe do a slow crew kill here while we wait for him to train. Our, do our doges. Train my doges. So this weapon does more damage every chain. It's actually harder to crew kill with. Holy crap, or I just take a second heavy chain laser. <laughs> well, I was gonna crew kill, and then you gave me an offer I can't refuse. You gave me an offer I can't refuse. Holy crap, just give me a free version of the weapons we already have. So that's a good deal. Defense drone protects against ha hacking. Uh, not guaranteed. I don't know what the chances are. There's the hacking. We need all the fuel. Um, first laser one is all of a sudden really terrible. I have all these two power weapons that are just way better versions. Um, I can still buy backup batteries, so I might check the store for that. Let's store for backup battery. Do I care about an anti drone? Or beam drone for getting through boss's ult and shield? <sighs> I care about them, but not enough to spend scrap on them. Uh, buy one more fuel and just check the store. We're really strong now. What is insanity? Every time you play one of my ships, you get free copies of the custom weapons. <laughs> well, I guess I'm getting my good RNG after the really bad RNG of the last run of getting all the ridiculously overpowered ships. So poor Zack Dog gets wrecked by RNG. Lucky you. Get all the good RNG. Alright, I'm gonna say thanks for the repair training, bro. Oh, get deleted, bro. Get deleted. Yeah, the defense drone has to continually shoot down the incoming hacking drone. Because they run out of drone parts. So, it's... In my experience, hacking drone... Uh, defense drone stops all hacking less than 50% of the time when I try to do it. Depends on the ship, of course. It's one of those it depends, but it feels like less than half the time does it shoot down every single hacking drone. It usually lets it through eventually, depending on how many drone parts the enemy has. I could get a repair drone here. What was I looking for? Oh my gosh, another heavy chain laser. Right, I'm not going to do that. It's too expensive. Um, I was looking for backup battery. And I need fuel, so... No backup battery. Good hack to power. 
One more dodge. I don't really need an upgrade on my weapons yet with uh, hacking two upgraded. Yeah, another heavy chain. I'm not doing it this time. 95 scraps too expensive for a weapon that I don't need right now. Good dodge. Let's see if we can force the crew kill somehow here. Be a crew kill here. If I'm patient enough and I reset this weapon to go down to not doing two damage, maybe. There we go. That actually should do it. Crew kill get. Nice. Outpost, nice. Double reward. Double offensive drone, huh? Right, let's see if our first volley can get anything offline before using a drone part. I'm not wor too worried about drone parts, but having hacking and drone control. I never feel like I just have all the drone parts I could ever need. I can always use too many, so. First volley, not great. There we go. Now we should be good. This is weird. This almost feels like these swap eventually, where this one, the heavy laser, wants to fire first into the power charge. It eventually becomes three damage. What's the uh, breach chance between these? Because this only has fire chance. This still has the high fire breach and stun chance. I actually think this is better to do this way. I think this is just better. Double heavy charge is really ridiculous. Slug home or slug control? Well, slug home gives me chance of civilians. Let's go slug home. I need to get level 202 to protect from the O2 hat. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. All right, so we have um, worrying radiation protection. They could still hack our heal bay, but I could hack them right back, right? Are we maxed on our systems? No, we still need a backup battery. Let's make sure we always have enough scrap to buy a backup battery. Are the breach and the fire chance independent of one another? Uh, average chicken song, the way I understand it is it rolls them in order. I don't know the exact order, but what I think it is is rolls 30% chance on fire. If it fails on a fire, it rolls 17% chance on breach. If it doesn't breach, it rolls whatever percent chance on stun. I think it's like consecutive, but Mike Copley and Sleeping Dragon and some others might know better than me. So I can't remember exactly. It's probably on the FTL wiki or Mike Copley's webpage where he lists all sorts of crazy shenanigans like that. No, I don't think you can have a single shot cause both a fire and a breach. You can have one shot cause a fire, then the next shot cause a breach, but I'm pretty sure it's set up in such a way that you can't have both. You recall that vanilla can't do that, but this is a modded weapon? Well, these were modded for vanilla, so... Even if it did work, uh, even if we were playing, even, even though I am playing multiverse, 
Hyperspace, um, I don't think it's gonna work that way for this for this ship. Hopefully letting one shield come up so he stops repairing weapons. Alright, there's a crew kill. Coffin ship get dodge while O2 kill. I like that idea. I like it. Only problem is if he repairs too fast. I don't think he's gonna repair too fast. And slug repair gel is gonna make the breaches get repaired quicker. Not ideal, but maybe we'll get a fire next volley. Oh, well, that charge time was perfect for us to not get through there. Whoops! I need to wait a little bit longer. Damn it! Damn it! Rand, why are you even shooting? Because, because I was shooting. Because I was. Chain laser, fire beam, all of the chain weapons. There's my backup battery, though. That's the main thing I want. Full repair, I'd have to sell something to get. I don't really want to sell anything. Except maybe this power chain laser. I don't I wonder if Julian Verse would even like this, because chain laser normally chains faster. This one doesn't chain faster, it chains for higher damage. So where's Julian Verse to ask? Is this a Julian Verse approved chain laser or not? Does it get the Julian Verse seal of, a seal of approval? I think I get eight if I go back this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, this is just an amazing dive, whichever way I go, so... Just plan on the dive. Alright, attack the ship. You mind control, sometimes you don't get a fight. And we always want the fight. And fight it out. Rock's fighting in a fire. Let the fire spread. Um. Yeah, do extra damage while they're together in that room. And that should be the crew kill. Nice. <laughs> Small bomb to help with our crew killing. There's our other store. That's what I was looking for. So, I'm going to count up by this jump. We're going to plan on diving the exit beacon because it's a nebula. So this one, I'm pretty sure I get eight. With four more nebula jumps. Four fifths. I think I do. One might say they are rock firefighters. Show yourself out. Um, please do, because I don't even get the joke. I don't get it. To keep small bomb for crew killing to not. Yeah, yeah, I think I will. I'm not buying anything with it, so. Um, so that's our last. Well, we actually could have a nebula store over here, so that might not be our last store. Seen our two nebula stores, we could have a non nebula store. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think guaranteed this is safe in seven if I go one, two, three. Because then we will have gone through more nebula jumps. Let's do that. Face them. Okay. Nice, we didn't lose the jump. Holy double burst laser too. Alright, we hack shields here. Hack shields and we mind control the pilot. Holy snikes. Holy snikes, what a build. Nice! Pop 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 pop. Now we'll turn on small bomb if we want a crew kill. Which I'm guessing we got a decent number of fires. Uh, he's got an anti. He's got a repair drone. 
I have 15 missiles. Meh. Meh. That's what I say about that coup kill. Meh. Alright, small bomb with our double heavy charge lasers. Okay, right, there's the improved med bay for the worrying radiation, which does not get bonus rewards for crew killing, so... I'm gonna hack weapons here. Well, that was a lot of dodges. Okay, one missile down. Poking up for the next missile that we don't even need. Nice, and we got a dodge training. Beautiful. Beautiful. So you'd say, this is a coffin ship. You should crew kill it. Nah, no. Nah. Wearing radiation event, you actually don't get a bonus reward for crew killing. So it's high scrap it either way, I think. No sleeping dragon to tell us, but I'm pretty sure it's high scrap either way. Seven, very nice. Okay. He's gonna hack my O2. Oh no, <laughs> don't hack my O2. <laughs> okay. This is a firebomb. There's never been a ship more protected from firebomb. This ship right here. Okay, there's probably been other ships with Noah too, but. Hey, what's up, uh, Sir Harkin? Hello again from Germany. Hello from Dallas. And I hope you're having a great day in Germany. Basically, boss ready, yeah, pretty much. As compared to a previous run where we were. I was afraid of the boss. Well, it wasn't that bad last run. It was just I wasn't able to uh, left up that artillery till way later than I wanted to. A flak to finish out the build would be nice. A wooden height. Sack pilot in here. I got wrong, actually. Okay, good. Cloak this. Good. All right, and now we now we do wait. Now we wait, and I can small bomb things if needed to keep him out of the weapons room. Uh, it's quite nice in Germany. First day of spring with temperatures at almost twenty degrees Celsius. I wish I knew what that meant. To me, that sounds freezing because that's below 32, which in Fahrenheit is freezing. So, um. I'm gonna guess that's very nice outside. It's been like 60s and 70s for us here, which in Fahrenheit is my favorite temperatures. 68F sounds that does sound nice. Sounds very nice. I do need the freedom measurement to understand. <laughs> I need the freedom measurements. Otherwise, I'm like, why aren't you so cold? It sounds so cold. A little bit of potential dodge training while waiting for the crew kill, maybe? Oh, we must have done a lot of damage to that. Other slug for him to have died so fast. There must have been fires or breaches or something. Well, I guess I hit him with a couple heavy lasers. That's probably why I died so fast. Oh, looks like we didn't get any other training. Sad. Hey, that is actually an extra crew I don't need. <laughs> All my rooms are already manned. So you go hang out in this part of the ship, I guess. Deal with borders up there. 
What do I want to upgrade next? Weapons. Let's see if there's a store here, and if not, I probably do a weapon or maybe hacking upgrade or cloak two. This guy's pretty darn strong. That is a strong ship. I think what I'm going to do is just turn on defense drone and cloak the uh, burst laser if needed. Yeah, no dodges. This. This. Okay. I didn't quite do that right, actually. Phantom Doges. Nice. Nice Doges. At work, we use the metric system all the time, and you love to ask, can I get the converted to that converted to freedom units, please? <laughs> and I'm sure all of your coworkers are like, yeah, that joke was funny 200 times ago. Thanks, dad joke. That sounds like very much a dad joke. Hey, we did get a store here. Rewarded. You were working in your vineyard after work. You love this time of year when nature awakens again. Yeah, spring is... Spring is coming in. Spring has sprung. Okay, well, this store kind of sucks. Um, of course, what would I even want? It's just weapons, right? Because I can't buy augments. Unless I swap to Clone Bay, and then I'm just cloning my dudes over and over and losing training. I would have needed to get, like, a whole bunch of Lanius crew from Abandoned Sector to do that. Swap over safely, I feel like. Act 3, Cloak 2, and some power. Seems good. Seems good. Get ready for the dive here. I think this has been a very lucrative dive, though. Huh. One of my shots ran into something, and I'm not quite sure what it was. What's my favorite takeaway food, huh? Uh, takeaway means... Carry out? We don't say takeaway in the U.S., so I, I, is that like... Are you asking, like, Chinese or pizza or something? Um... Like, I eat out all the time, but lately, my stomach has not been doing well. I would have used to have said, used, I would have used, okay. Until recently, I would have said pizza. But pizza has done, started to do horrible things to my stomach. So, I'm going to have to go with, I don't even know, like, <laughs> If food does things to your stomach that make you regret it for a long time, can it be your favorite anymore? Taste-wise, I would still say pizza. The problem is I just don't feel like I can order pizza anymore. So, I don't really have a good answer for you. What time is it in Freedom Land? It is 3.57 p.m. We just had daylight savings, and uh, it is getting close to the end of the normal work day for us. Uh, but yeah, I, I will say, even though I don't, I'm probably not going to be able to eat it very much anymore. Pizza would be my choice. But if I was trying to choose something that does not destroy my stomach, I'd have to say Chinese, maybe? Zoltan Homeworlds. Even if we got Zoltan Shield, we would not be able to use it because our augment slots are full, so... Go Mantis, I guess. Have I checked on gluten intolerance? Uh, I went to the doctor, got a checkup, and he just said I... I need to change my diet. Like, I just think it's things like I've been eating so poorly for so long that my gut bacteria and fiber and all that stuff has been 
way off for a long time, so... I'm trying to... I'm just trying to... It's, it's good for me to not eat pizza all the time, so I'm just trying to make dietary changes that are better. Something I should have done years ago, but I'm only now finally being convinced by the way my body is acting that I should do it. Like tonight, tonight I'm going to make some chicken. Uh, I bought chicken breast last night. Tonight I'm going to put some great enchilada seasoning on it. Um, take an avocado, makes a little bit of a guacamole thing, take my homemade salsa, just a little bit of cheese on a tortilla and make some chicken tacos that are delicious. And my stomach should be able to digest much easier than, you know, a pizza. I, I honestly don't know if I have any sort of gluten intolerance or anything like that. But I went to a doctor for a checkup, and I don't even know how you get checked for that kind of stuff. He certainly didn't check for it. When I told him about my dietary with my stomach issues, he just like, you should eat a Mediterranean diet is what he told me to do which is apparently lots of fish and nuts and stuff, and I don't even like fish that much, but I've tried to do a couple meals of fish just to maybe help some. Uh, all the things he said, all, ex all that except avocado, those things are gross. My god. I do, I'm like one of the world's pickiest eaters, and I have... I, like, you and I had friends in high school talk about not liking guacamole and avocado. What What is not to like about avocado? If I had to choose one fruit... Okay, I'd probably choose tomato because how good tomatoes are. But if I had to choose two fruits to keep and all the others go away, I would choose tomato and avocado. How can you not love avocado. I am somebody who, like, I don't even like apples. And, like, some of the most basic fruits. But I am just... just love guacamole, avocado, that kind of thing. Um, uh, let's see. We had almost the same problem a couple years ago. A smoothie with yogurt, apples, and crushed oats is always a good STA, believe me. Oh, uh, yeah, I've been going to a place called Smoothie King recently to get some gut health smoothies that include some yogurt and whatever, probiotics, all that stuff that, you know, is supposed to help with digestion. And I think I'm slowly getting back into a better stomach place. Well, they actually did take a blood sample when I went to the doctor. And basically what that blood sample said was that I have high cholesterol. So, um, that's another reason why I'm trying to eat better. Try to help with the high cholesterol. So, there are reasons I am trying to make some dietary changes, not just for health, but for also... Okay, mainly for health. <laughs> mainly for health. Did I get out of here in time? No, it didn't actually do any damage. Good. We are basically Elanius Bomber. Five, four, three, two, one. It's asking for you to eat a certain amount of wheat and gluten in a certain time frame, then does tests for markers in your blood and stool. Yeah, I haven't had that done, but I probably should have that done at some point. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. All heavy lasers all the time. <laughs> Nuts covered with egg white and spices baked in the oven. Could murder for it, huh? Avocado tastes like butter stick. Like, I'm not suggesting you eat the avocado by itself. But some people do just eat butter sticks and avocado, probably. So, uh, 
Again, I'm not seeing really anything wrong with that. <laughs> Even though that's not what I do with it. Avocado is just creamy and buttery goodness. Uh, it's pretty flavorless. You don't like the texture of it either. Yeah, true. I guess by itself it's not got a strong flavor, which is probably why I like it. Because you add a little salt, a little lime, a little tomato, and any other stuff, and you just have a creamy, delicious condiment. And that's basically what I use it for. Make guacamole. I must like flavorless things with a creamy texture. I don't like... A lot of the fruits that I don't like is because of the crunchy, fleshy texture that I don't like. Uh, he's running. How do I do this? I guess I hate piloting. Get blasted, sir. Somehow, uh, I guess I guess we don't get through shields that well with this weapon system. I say somehow we did not one shot his all of his weapons, his all of his weapons. What's your cholesterol? Yes. <laughs> Uh, you shall be off to bed. Good night. Alright, have a good one, pie boy. A free renamed subspace phaser. Did I, did I get one of those? Oh, you're using the different names for... The Star Trek names for weapons? Is that what that was? Alright, keep hoping to find another store with, like, a flak. A flak would be perfect, like you said earlier. Uh, let me go one more weapon power. I could pretty much afford a flak if I sell some stuff, because we can do this. So let me get through shields. A little bit better than small bomb. I have the ability to get five shields, hasn't even upgraded them once. I mean, I'm telling you, man, playing hard monopause has changed my upgrade path. It's just ignore shields, get hat cloak. It's probably boring to people who are watching or don't know how strong it is or don't realize that it's the way to win, but it's just, it's the way to win. Um, forget fun. Go consistency. That is that is what you have to do for hard mode no pause wins, and I'm transferring a lot of that those play strategies to viewer ships, especially when they're ships that are a little weaker. Although this one's not that weak, just just my play style now. Yep, no pause streak is 22. Yep, we only play Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, which is in the schedule below. If you ever forget, and need to find out. I've had a lot of people ask. Wait, why are you pausing? Wait, what did I miss? I haven't missed anything. I haven't played since last Thursday. I played Tuesdays and Thursdays. All right, what do we got here? Uh, I kind of need my missiles, actually. Maybe I even buy missiles at the store. Holy glaive beam. Just hack cloak cycle. Just do it. It's just too good. A lot of dodges, but as long as one heavy laser gets through, it does such good work. Problem is, I'm gonna need to buy time for the hack and come back up just to have blade beam never fire, but we should be good here. Well, damn. Dodges are just too good. I know that's early, but I want to get the shot off before the cloak comes up. Nice. 
No weapons for you. The cloak should go off. You're looking forward to tomorrow. You are closer to the streak win every day. We we are we are just ever so close. Ever so close. I did the math earlier. If I continue getting two wins a day and keep on my normal schedule, a week from tomorrow we will have finally hit the cycle for the first time. But again, we need to not be cocky. Play safe, play smart. How did I take damage? I don't know. Um and I'm continuing to slow play it. Like I could, you know, change some of my days up, but I don't. I don't want to get out of my rhythm. I don't want to get out of rhythm, you know. My rest days, I feel like, maybe even help my FTL plays. Rest days help my FTL plays. Get the recovery from the saltiness. Uh. I could do, you know what I could do? I could, I could sell two NG Medbot dispersals, get Clone Bay and back up DNA Bank, and then we'd never lose crew. The problem with that is all the training we've gotten, we would just slowly go away. But I just don't think I want to do that. I mean, I want to do it, but I don't want to actually lose all my training, so. Wow, these stores just don't have weapons, okay. Weaponless doors. Well, there's my two nebula stores. I'm gonna check if this is a store. If this is not a store, I'll upgrade shields finally. Useless stores. So useless. Nope. Um. No, no weapons. <laughs> no flak. Uh, no, no, don't hack my O2 again. Oh no. <laughs> this is the perfect counter to slug ships. The O2 list slug ships, or the O2 list ship that has no O2 to hack. Get blasted. Oh no, what'll I do? No O2, oh no. That's an ion bomb with that charge time, I think. Mm, actually, it's not too crazy slow. The two damage bomb. Oh, it's a firebomb. We, all, we know that it's always a fireball on this ship, don't we? Like, what's a two-power bomb? It would either be a breach two or a fireball, and definitely it's a fireball. For this, they're gonna burn this out. Event. Alright, one more jump to see if there's a store. If no store, then buy shields. Oh man, these freaking weapon systems. That is an eight-power weapon system. Well, guess I'll hack it and make it be a zero power weapon system. Okay, I got one shot through. Get deleted, sir. Get deleted. Ooh, is there a crew kill here? I've probably done too much damage for that, but... <laughs> yeah! Pop, 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 pop! Heavy laser, too good. Alright, no store. Let's go ahead and get second shield. Oh, my scrap on sec. Ah, oh, second. Third shield. How many jumps do we have? Uh, six, uh, probably seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, definitely seven with that. We're only in sector six, right? I'm kind of score farming a bit here now, it feels like. Uh. I think I'm going to not kill this. I don't feel the need to min-max this run. We're just so strong. I don't need to be doing, you know, five-minute venting crew kills. When we can just... We can... We're so strong we can kill the boss right now.
Yeah, we still have a whole other sector to go through too, so. <laughs> I do not feel the need to go crazy with the score farming here. Getting every crew kill possible. Gotta pick up a friend at the airport. Have a nice evening, everyone. Alright. Have a nice... Well, good on you picking up your friend at the airport. Have a great rest of your night, my friend. Double longs. This is gonna be a... Pokax cycle kind of fight. Beautiful. No ship bad because no augments. No, the ship's not bad. Your ship's strong. The ship is strong. I don't like the no augments, but it is allowing me to have a defense drone with the rest of the build, which is pretty good. Can't, can't knock that. Oh, now I understand. When they mind control, my crew is... My crew is no longer considered friendly for the emergency respirators. I mean, um... Actually, when my crew gets mind controlled, they're no longer considered friendly crew for NG medbot dispersal? Is that right? I think that might be right, and that's why my guys were just randomly taking damage. That's a weird interaction. That is not an interaction you see every day. Hmm. Interesting. Quite interesting. Oh crap, did I actually take damage there? No. Heal. Crew deleted, also ship deleted. Enemy crew gets healed when you mind control them. <laughs> That's... Okay, that's weird. That's some weird interactions. So like flags crew for enemy or ally, depending on if they're mind controlled or not, for the NG Medbot dispersal purposes. That's funny. Funny interaction. Alright, chase them! No. Alright, don't care about one extra jump. NG or slug? I'm gonna get annoyed by being slug all the time. Can't use my mind control. Let's go, NG. Although four shields plus triple defense drones might be a pain, but it's fine. It's fine. Maybe we'll just get a bunch of NG free stuff. Learn another scan. Uh, let's go drone schematic. There's something for like full repair, defense drone. Not defense drone. Anti-drone drone or beam drone would have been my preferences there. Does my control health buff get removed at the end of my control and could this deduction of health kill? It's a percentage thing, so I don't think it can kill. I think it would just remove that percentage of health rather than a flat health number. Save the store at a dead end. Why did you have to put it at one of only two dead ends, game? I don't think I save that store now. You're, you will rework this ship eventually. Maybe get RPG Nerdos to show me the ropes with hyperspace modding. Nice. Found another way to test it. Works perfectly fine. Should be good for tournament. All right, great, Beta Hunter. I'm glad, even though I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, that's right. I don't have space for that. All oh, the wasted augments, man. The wasted augments. So wasted. I'm going to be here in seven. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Or I go to the quest and back if I feel like it. Store the free stuff. Alright, store there. So, if I have store there... I think I go one, two, three, four, five. 
Well, if that's a store, I mean, that's a store, a guaranteed store, all the stores. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do it that way. What have you missed? Any cool mods today? Um, we have this O2 list ship that can't even buy O2. I'm not going to get level 3 sensors. Um, what was RPG Nardo's ship? It was a, a smaller, like, Pirate Federation ship with some... Oh, what was that hammer? What did it have on it? I forget what it had on it. We had a, we had a Star Trek ship that was based around... Vulcan artillery. That was really difficult early. Yeah, it was inaccurate weapons with a interesting flak build. With an interesting crazy flak on RPG Nerdo's ship. That was a very big circle. Crew killing here is fine. I don't know if it gives any bonus rewards for saving the... whatever it's called. Saving the... Um, station or whatever. Right, we have cloaking. He's on fire. He's on fire! He's heating up. Okay. So if I might control the pilot, or actually if he runs to the heel bay, I can shoot him in the heel bay. Just be in there. Hit! Holy dodges with nobody on piloting Batman. Holy dodges with nobody on pilot piloting Batman. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, here we go. Fight in that room. Thank you for the prime, Swasi one. That is a new Prime sub. Welcome to the randoms. Really appreciate that support. It's awesome. Okay. All right. Probably wait this out. But I shouldn't need to. As soon as he decides where he's going to park it. I should just do the crew kill. Nice. Alright. There's that. Okay. Alright. Um... I'm going to buy a whole repair and a combat, I think. Beam drone would be better than combat for getting um, shields down on the boss. I need one fuel, but I got a store coming up, so another store, so I don't need to buy the fuel. But Rand, you could buy a fire beam drone. That would be so good. Boom shakalaka! <laughs> That's right. Yes, Flak Battle Cannon. That was the one. That was the one. That was a pretty fun ship from RPG Nerdos today. Main goal of the ship was to find something accurate to capitalize on the shield-busting capabilities of the Flak Battle Cannon. Or otherwise known as the Flak Bitcoin. Because every time I saw BTC, I thought that looks like Bitcoin for short. Alright, uh... Okay, yes. Could not find a flak today. He's not on this run. We can get one more store, okay. Um, if you're on YouTube, love the streak progress. Awesome. Well, welcome to the Twitch channel. Glad to have you. I want to reach out and grab you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hack drone control because this is annoying. And I don't want to deal with this freaking guy right here. This frickin' guy right here. Don't even want to deal with this frickin' guy right here. Get deleted, Zoltan. It was a flak Bitcoin. That's right. What does that even mean? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Alright, that gives us enough fuel to get out of this sector now. Good. I mean, Sword Art, I don't appreciate the backseating, but I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, yes, I will fix the breach. Literally, the fight wasn't even over. Oh my gosh. Oh, Rand, you should heal your guys. They're dying from no O2. Thanks. Thanks, chat. It's really helpful. 
Thanks. Oh no, you have a breach on your ship with no O2. Yeah, thanks. I'm working on it. Oh, here we go. That looks like the perfect weapon to replace what? That gets through the shield. This is kind of like the flak auto cannon, battle cannon from whatever. Rand, did you know that if you run out of HP, you can die? I know. Um, can I do one more weapon upgrade? I can if I sell the heavy laser one, right? Yeah. Oh, we even can go above. And it's no crazy requirements. Okay. Yeah. We'll get rid of... Honestly, I kind of want to keep the heavy laser for the fires and stuff, but I guess if it's not the heavy cannon, it's better to do this. This. And, uh, no more stores. This. It is slow. 16 compared to 14 on the heavy cannons. It's fine, it's fine. First world problems. Let's talk about Rand's most favorite topic, the politics. Would you vote for artillery or flak? Okay. Well, we all know the answer to that question. Black for life. Black for life. Why you need combat one? I'm keeping it for phase three of the boss. Get through the Zoltan Shield quicker. I literally bought it. Why would I sell it when I literally bought it? Rand, you have to remember the advanced flak too. Yes, I, I have it. I have it. Thank you for the reminder. What does Advanced Flak 2 do? Uh, well, it's 3 power. I looked at the stats. Did you all not look? Uh, 2 power instead of 3 power, I mean. And 1 extra shot than Flak 2. And 5 seconds faster. So this is... I haven't looked at the accuracy yet, but I'm pretty sure this is like a better version of what RPG's Flak Auto Cannon thing was earlier. Similar in time, 1 second faster, 1 more shot. And far better accuracy, I think. It does have a breach chance. A 10% breach chance. So there you go. A lot of, a lot of changes on that. Um, let's go down this way. So I hopefully don't have to dive. Which means I don't get any repair stations. But that's fine. I sure hope he doesn't hack my O2 on the boss fight. Wait. This is the flak you used in your flak stealth ship, huh? I feel like I remember using this weapon before and trying to find four of them. <laughs> trying to go for an advanced flakening, if I remember correctly. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, this thing is stupid O-Power. Stupid O-Power, stupidly overpowered. <laughs> More accurate, one more shot than uh, the uh, flak from earlier. But it is advanced flak. The projectiles are slower than RPG Nerdos, I guess. That's the one thing different, I guess, for RPG Nerdos. One is the uh, projectiles are faster for his. Okay. Cool Doge is the best Doge. Dumble Doge is the best Doge. If you don't think so, you're wrong. Your opinion is wrong. I have zero repairs. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, my health is full, so I don't need to repair yet. But I can use whole repair drone between phases of the boss to be full health. That's why I kept why 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 I bought the whole repair drone. Wow, big surprise. He dodged just enough for me to do zero fucking damage. Do do. Score shield's always this cheap. Um, I didn't look at the price. They might be cheaper. Eagle's Eyes made some changes to some things. I don't... It should be 180 would be the normal cost. I didn't look at what they are currently. Do, 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 do. 
Let's look at it. How much is it? No, that's it's 170. So the value point is cheaper, and the full cost is 10 cheaper, but the value point is like 30 cheaper. So it's an interesting way to balance the shield cost by making the value point cheaper. All right, store. <laughs> I don't think I care about any of that. We're gonna heavy, heavy laser this guy to death. I could sell all these augments that we were locked in the entire time for some fun back and forth running to the heel bay micro to end the run, but I'm not a masochist, so I won't do that because it doesn't sound fun at all. It doesn't sound fun at all, but it would give me more scrap at the end of the run here. Wouldn't give me more scrap. Who am I kidding? Of course I'm a masochist. I'm playing FTL. What is the definition of a masochist? Somebody who plays FTL for a living. That is the definition. That's a lot of deletions. Get deleted. I don't need a crew kill. There's not no ships in the background, so it's not a, not enough time. Jump. Gratitude is useless. Thanks for nothing. You can have mine, cloak, hack, and drone. OP. Yeah, it's pretty OP to not have O2. I just wish it didn't lock in your augments. But I guess, I guess you want to talk about balance. That's the way you balance having this extra system. Although if we had gotten hacked in our heel bay one time this run, we might have lost crew. So. I feel like that might be the other potential balancing side of it. And if uh, if our heel bay got hacked a single time, we might have lost all but our Lanius crew. Was there ever a final boss ship? As it looked like it. I don't understand that question in the house. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's there's a final boss ship on every single run of FTL. It's called the flagship. Is that what you're asking? If not, I don't know the answer. <laughs> Um, thanks, ship. I'll pay my, pay my rent in gratitude, yes. I'll go buy the weapon that I need to finish the boss fight with some gratitude. Oh, wait. I can't buy anything with gratitude. Oh, wait. All the extra power you could want in the battery system. Have you ever played a viewer-created ship that was looking like a final boss ship or had the possibility to build it like a boss ship? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes, there have been many viewerships modeled after the boss flagship that had the power of a boss flagship that had artilleries like a boss flagship in many different forms. We have done that, yes. RPG Nerdos himself, who has created a lot of the ships we played, um, has had at least two or three ships I can remember that are like boss ship type of ships. Talking about no side rooms? I don't know if that's what the house is asking. I didn't, didn't mention anything about side rooms. I assumed he meant that had a bunch of artilleries like the boss or giant rooms like the boss. I am going to go for the shield hack. Just because I'm going for crew kill here. Oh, come on, gay. Come on. I want to not do too much hole damage here. We might do too much because this ship is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, that was close to a one shot. <laughs> there. Well, we did kill his cloaking, so that's nice. Not cloak, killed it, but slowed it down. Pop, pop. Okay. Okay. Um, I need a single shot. 
pop. And that might be all the crew kills we get in this phase. Yeah, those guys get out. You need to stop being a bad doge. <laughs> oh, every time. Every time that cracks me up. I crack me up. Pass Rand, you're a great comedian. Okay. You need to be a good doge. Alright. Um, C52 scrap. Sure, extra power, I guess. Sure. From our backup battery. And I didn't take any damage. Uh, I only need combat drone for phase three. Tickles eat Smurf, thank you for the follow. Welcome to stream. Is this multiverse? No, this 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 is not multiverse. This is um Eagle's Eyes. Eagle Eagle's Eyes. Eagle's Eyes. Well, saying that in the possessive is hard. Ship called H2O No, which is a no O2 ship that you can't even buy O2 on. What happened with the Vulcan artillery ship? We won! Spoiler alert. I told you the spoiler before saying spoiler alert. Uh, it was pretty strong. It was a pretty strong run. Uh, we didn't really get to see the power of the artillery till like the last phase of the boss though because... It, it, artillery is just too expensive to upgrade is the main reason for that. Wow. Now wow, 45% dodge equals 0% dodge, apparently. I'm purposely not finishing them off when I could have already, because I'm going for some crew kills here, which is very greedy. But it's what I like to do. Be greedy. Crew kills, it's fine. We have my control counter, it's fine. You don't think Pass Ryan is in a comedy mood? When he talks about a doge, he's in a comedy mood. Doge wasn't that good today. Been letting folks doge a lot, true. True. But yelling at our doge is funny. Or Pass Rand yelling at him is funny. All right, uh, so we have mind control counter. They're going to board us and instantly start suffocating, so uh, let's use our whole repair drone that I bought so it's not it's collecting dust doing nothing in here, I guess. I know, whatever will we do of, against a bunch of boarders? I don't know. Okay, that's full. Do this. All right. How can they see the boss timer and weapons? When you have max level sensors, that's when you can see that, I think. Max level with them being manned, I think. If we one-shot his Zoltan shield here, that would be nice. Would normal turn this boss off in vanilla? It's changed or what? Well, I am playing on hyperspace, so... Even though this mod doesn't need hyperspace, God I just my habit on, to play man. this on hyperspace. Uh, not very good doge. Not a very good doge. We get through Zoltan Shield quickly though, which is what I wanted. Stayed online. Unlucky. Alright, let's finish him with one ginormous volley. Everything all at once. Everything, everywhere, all at once, or whatever that movie is. Kablamo! The H2 Oh No and a crazy ship from Eagle's Eye with some crazy weapons. Locked in Augment's not my favorite, but those weapons are pretty darn OP, that's for sure. 
So thank you, uh, Eagle's Eye, for that ship. Thank you also to RPG Nerdos and Zack Dog for the ships today. Super fun. Has some new ships. Uh, and an, an anonymous who's sent me a couple ships uh, in the past sent me some sh a ship today. So we'll have some new ships for sure next week. And I think, um, can you uh, Eagle's Eye send me a message? Telling me which ship you want me to play next, because I think there's more ships on your on your Google Drive, but I would just like you to tell me which one to put next on my list. Uh, let's check that score, though. 52.30. Honestly, not that high, but we didn't need much for that ship, that's for sure. Did you miss anything? Everything. Check the VOD. You missed everything. You missed the best run ever. Uh, you missed all five and a half to six hours of the stream, I guess. <laughs> So my friends, I hope you had a good time. If there's anybody new to the stream, if you did have fun, hope you hit the follow, come join us again. Tomorrow will be the Hard Mode No Pause, as all the people were asking about today. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays is Hard Mode No Pause. We go for 23 and 24 tomorrow. Hopefully, we, we need to start randoming, randoming some Mantis ships, and hopefully the Mantis crew micro is not going to be the thing that stops us from hitting the cycle. So, um... My friends, as usual, thank you for all the support, the bits, the follow the subs, keep the subs working, hanging out. I'm going to call it a day there. You all have a great rest of your night. Good luck on your FTL runs, and I'll see you tomorrow for the salty FTL hard mode no pause. So until next time, peace out, happy gaming. Y'all rock. See you later, my friends.